today we are going to talk about food crops other than grains in india there are sugar cane wild seeds tea coffee horticulture crops only we are going to discuss in this chapter so let's talk about sugar cane sugar cane is mainly growing in tropical as well as subtropical crop it is growing in these tropical as well as subtropical region when we look at indian context uh, we can see which is growing from uh, punjab to bihar north and plains region as well as maharashtra to tamil nadu and coastal places of andhra pradesh these are the important places uh, the sugar cane crops it grows well in hot and humid climate and its reach temperature of 21 degree celsius to 27 degree celsius and when we talk about uh, annual rainfall which required 75 cm to 100 cm rainfall it can be grown in variety of soils so mainly we see this uh, sugarcane cultivation in punjab uttar pradesh bihar maharashtra tamil nadu and coastal places of andhra pradesh when we look at his work which is mainly related to labor intensive or you can say a need manual labor from sowing to harvest it will not be possible with machines so that which required more manual work so as we know the uses of sugarcane which is using to produce different kinds of food items there are sugar like jaggery which is also known as gur and sari and molasses these are the images of a jaggery this is jaggery second one can sari and third one is molasses when we look at a sugar cane india is the second largest producer of sugar cane the first uh, position is going to brazil after that india is the second largest producer of sugar cane in the world when we look at india which are the major states cultivating sugar cane they are uttar pradesh maharashtra karnataka tamil nadu andhra pradesh telangana bihar punjab and haryana these are the major state produce sugar cane now we are going to talk about the next food crops other than grains that is oil seeds oil seed is considered as a cash crops because which provides more economical value rather than food purpose rather than feeding which is giving more economical value which is using for cooking as well as industrial purpose there are two types of oil seeds first type is known as edible and second one is known as non edible seeds edible seeds mainly using for domestic purpose like cooking we have some oil seeds like sunflower groundnut oil mustard oil etc which we are using for cooking purpose and the same thing the second category that is non edible seeds that is non edible seeds they are castor linseed which is mainly using for industrial purpose as well as lubrication in machines and tools you can see in this images some oil we use in the machines and also we use uh, oil for making soaps ointment and cosmetic items when we look at oil seeds different oil seeds are growing covering approximately 12 percentage of the total crop area of india the next oil seed is groundnut groundnut is a kharif crop and accounts for half of the major oil seeds produced in india when we look at the groundnut production gujarat is the largest producer of groundnuts in india another oil seed is mustard it is a rabi crop another one is sesame which is also known as til it is a kharif crop in north and a rabi crop in south india next one is castor seeds which is grown in the both rabi and kharif seasons linseed is a rabi crop coconut soya bean cotton seed sunflower these are the other example for oil seeds which is mainly using to produce oil now we are going to talk about tea plantation and tea cultivation tea is another food crop other than grains which is very important beverage crop introduced by british in india 
The tea plant grows well in tropical and subtropical climates with deep and fertile well-drained soil, rich in humus and organic matter. You can see the countries which is coming in tropical and subtropical climate. These countries are producing tea much. Tea bushes require warm and moist frost-free climate all throughout year. Tea is the labor intensive industry which required more people work. Major tea producing states are Assam, hills of Darjeeling and Jalpaiguri, West Bengal. These places are in West Bengal. Darjeeling and Jalpaiguri, these are the two districts and two places in West Bengal. And other important states are producing tea. They are Tamil Nadu and Kerala. We can see the states in the map. Okay, these are the important places where tea cultivation is more. So in West Bengal, we have two places. They are Darjeeling, this is Darjeeling, and another one is Jaipaliguri, that is also in West Bengal. So where the tea cultivation is more. The third one is Assam, so which is here. Okay, so where the tea cultivation is more. Then Tamil Nadu and Kerala. These are the important places of tea cultivation. Now let's talk about coffee. Coffee is another food crops other than grains which is cultivating in India. Yemen coffee is produced in India and this variety of coffee is in great demand all over the world. It is cultivation introduced on Baba Budan hills and is confirmed to the Nilagiri in Karnataka, Kerala and Tamil Nadu. These are the major places where coffee is cultivating more. They are Nilikri in Karnataka, Kerala and Tamil Nadu. Now we are going to talk about horticulture crops. Vegetables and fruits are mainly considering horticulture crops. Major crops produced are pea, cauliflower, onion, cabbage, tomato, brinjal and potato. India is the producer of tropical as well as temperate fruits. One of the main features of this horticulture crops are which grows without much water. So it is very easy for cultivation and which will grow without having much water. And 13% of the world vegetables are produced from India. That is another fact related to horticulture. Let us see which are the major crops produced are in India, they are pea, cauliflower, onion, cabbage, tomato, brinjal and potato. When we come to fruits, we have mangoes, Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Uttar Pradesh and West Bengal. These are the major states producing mangoes. When we look at orange, Nagpur is producing more as well as Chirampunji in Meghalaya. Nagpur is known as the orange city because which has that much production of orange. Chirapunji that is in Meghalaya. These are the two places where we produce orange. When we look at another fruit that is banana, that is major production happened in Kerala and Tamil Nadu as well as Mizora and Maharashtra. Some other fruits, lychee and guava, these fruits are produced mainly from Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. And we have pineapples from Meghalaya and grapes from Andhra Pradesh, Telangana and Maharashtra. These are the states mainly producing grapes. Another some fruits are there. There are apples, pears, apricots, walnuts. These are the fruits items mainly we get from Jammu and Kashmir and Himachal Pradesh because which grows in the very cool hilly regions.